Uh, selection night here at the Port Melbourne Cricket Club and tonight we're joined by the second 11 captain, uh, Ollie Barker, uh, who are up against their old rivals, Carnegie. Welcome to the show, Ollie. Thanks for having me. Good mate. Now, this week you're up against Carnegie, who last year we uh, we defeated them in the, the White Ball final, um, come from nowhere to, to steal victory. Uh, you know these guys pretty well and um, you know their game and uh, how do you think you'll go this week? Uh, I think... Yeah, look, it's always good playing against those guys. We've got a lot of rivalry. They're a club that does well every year. And I think over the last couple of years, we've pushed ourselves to be right up there with them. Um, a couple of individual battles between bowlers and batters, and there's always a bit of a nibble in the field. So that's always good. And I would think looking at our starts of the year and looking at theirs, I think we'll probably roll them. Now, the, the side for this year is probably in contrast to last year, totally different with probably five or six players that are, that are new to the club or, or different from, from the last few years. Um, who, do you, who are you looking for for a big performance against our old rivals? Uh, I think we've got a pretty solid partnership at the top between um, one of the more experienced guys in uh, Greg Imes, but Karen Carley is the kind of batsman that every captain wants, top of the order, give him a free licence to go for it. He's played with us in years gone past, but I think Hit and runs early this year already, he'll hit stride, and I expect a big one from him. And with the ball, you know, we've got some, we've got some old sort of campaigners in there and the style of Boiler and JD who are always going to do you well. But it'd be nice to see someone, what a new lad, Dom, who's been selected to play this year. I think uh, giving him a couple of overs at the death, bowling at the toes, should be good to see if he pulls through. Now, you mentioned uh, uh, Greg Imey and uh, Karen Carley, who have you know, been at the club now for three or four years. Um, you know, this year especially, um, they've put together some pretty handy opening partnerships and that's what you want in a, in a one day game, limited overs, getting off to a good start with the, uh, you know, the power play in the first eight overs and those two guys go pretty hard. Greg's pretty much stable at the, at the top of the innings and, and Karen's just a natural ability just to go hard early. Um, you know, a good start against Carnegie and their bowlers and demoralise them um, and we're off to a good start. So um, down the order you've lost to Ron Rona who's, who's gone up to the ones. Um, and you picked up Dom, as you said. So um, from the bowling point of view, who are you looking at to, uh, if you happen to bowl first, who are you looking at to sort of get early wickets? Uh, I think uh, it's always a gem to have someone like to run in your side, whenever it is. So happy to see him go up and perform there. Always a joy to have him down with me. But with the depth we've got, um, it's nice that we can take him or leave someone like to run. You know what I mean? It's nice to have that sort of depth across all four teams as well, not just our team. I think the whole club has got a load of good players coming in and people hitting their stride. From a bowling point of view, it's a lot of it depends on that Lord's Reserve pitch. Sometimes it's good with pace off and pace on the other end. So Karen Carley with the ball is always dangerous with spin. But uh, you only have to look at Boiler's performance last week, first game back in the twos, taking wickets, third ball, skipping stumps. So you'd expect him to clean up, uh, if, if I remember rightly, actually first over of the semi-final. He bowled the bloke out in the first ball of the semi-final, so they're going to know he's coming. We're certainly bringing him for that kind of damage, so yeah, confident. Yeah, no real recognised spinner in the side, it's probably the exception of Karen Carley, who can who probably put seven decent overs together. Um, you know, Karen at the top of the order, coming on a bowl spin, you've got some quality bowls there. You know, you've got, you know, as you mentioned, Boiler, JP can jump in there in, in, in the late overs, Dom, yourself. Um, Naturally, Glenn Murphy from the Carnegie Creek Club, he's a curator there and he'll probably uh, prepare a pitch to suit himself. Uh, and we've had some oddball wickets down there over the time. You know, it's been 35 degrees all week and the pitch is a bit soft. Um, what are you expecting from Lords this, this week? Yeah, well, look, it's always, like I said, always a fun one to play against them and it's always fun to see what pitch you're going to turn up to at Carnegie. Uh, Carnegie have uh, a history of forgetting their spikes on occasions on a wet day and that always seems to get in the way of them wanting to play a decent game of cricket but that's in the past I guess um, but look whatever wicket we get we're going to come out there and we give it everything to the port and uh, from what I can see uh, they've got a, quite a different side to last year not to say that they won't have strength um, so I think you've got to go into that game knowing that you don't know four or five of their players and you have to assume that they're actually probably guns yep. and then when you get there if uh, if it turns in your favour and we're a stronger side, you've just got to put the foot on the throat and finish it early. And come back and have a colonial beer at Port Melbourne. That's it. Yeah, we've we'll, we'll a good plug there for the sponsors. Uh, different side for Carnegie. We looked at the results last week. Vinnie Gore has gone up to their, to their twos. Uh, uh, to, to Ron Graney is, is out. Um, so it's a whole new look, as you said. Uh, I think young Aaron Tung 
Um, I'm not sure if he's playing this year, haven't seen any scores from him, so it's a whole new outfit, but uh, good luck on Saturday, mate. Uh, go there and do the Borough Proud and um, get back to uh, to the uh, the club on Saturday night with hopefully four wins from the club. So thank you for joining us tonight, mate, and uh, no good luck. Brilliant, thank thanks. You.